Former Alaska Senator Mike Gravel may have ended his bid for the Oval Office, but he's staying in the game. Shortly after ending his campaign, Gravel endorsed Senator Bernie Sanders for president. He also voiced support for Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard. Senator Gravel joins me now via Skype to expand on why he's supporting these candidates, his thoughts on the race, and much more. Senator Gravel, thank you so much for joining us again, sir. Great to see you. Great to be on your show. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's always uh, my pleasure. Senator, I, I think you you have been one of the earliest progressive voices in the United States Senate. How do you see the state of the race right now? What are you generally as thinking as an observer and former candidate yourself? Well, I think you know, the, we, we've got the same problem that we had in uh, 16 uh, when uh, the uh, when when the DNC was really playing games uh, with uh, with the candidates uh, and showing their preference for Hillary, uh, and now they're playing games. I don't know what their preference is going to be. Obviously, it's it's somebody who's mainstream and, and doesn't really want to reach out there and accomplish very much. And that's going to be the tragedy if the if the Democrats elect a a mainstream person, it's going to be the same old, same old. And of course, that's that's what drove uh, the public uh, or a portion of the public uh, to Donald Trump. They just didn't think that either party uh, was doing it. And of course, Trump has taken over the Republican Party. Uh, and, and of course, the Republican Party for the last three or four decades has, has been horrible uh, in terms of advancing our democracy. It's just the opposite. Uh, they've tried to suppress voting uh, and all of that. So with respect to this candidacy, I endorsed, as you pointed out, Bernie, uh, and I endorsed uh, Tulsi. And uh, Tulsi apparently is going to make a decision today whether or not uh, she boycotts uh, the uh, this next uh, uh, appearance. Right. Uh, and uh, I, I hope she does boycott it and boycotts it with a big fanfare because they weren't fair to her. Mm -hmm. They weren't Actually, fair Senator, to me. Just, she just came out. She came out this morning and announced that she will be attending the debate. So she'll be on the stage. Oh, well, that's too yeah. bad. But uh, <laughs> I would prefer to. Well, she's doing well in uh, in New Hampshire. And, uh, and I would hope that if she were in the top five, that uh, this will get rid of a lot of dead wood. And, uh, and people would begin to, uh, her secret is that when you see her, you come away and very much supportive, but you got to see her. And so the plan has been to uh, not let her get much visibility because she does such a commanding situation. And so now we'll see what happens in the debates. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, but uh, like I say, I, I wish that she had not, and really, but this is her decision. Uh, I understand she's doing well in New Hampshire. Bernie, uh, to the situation, let's just speak a moment about uh, his heart attack. Yeah, I was uh, curious. You are the oldest. You're the oldest man to run for the Oval Office. So, in your opinion, how, what do you do? You think that he's up to the job? Oh yeah, there's no question about mm -hmm. that. In fact, the best thing that happened to him is to have this little scare and to treat it. A uh, heart attack is really a heart disease. Uh, and when you want to look at a comparison, uh, Dwight Eisenhower uh, had a heart attack and uh, came from came back from it to really provide leadership in the White House. Lyndon Johnson had a heart attack uh, when he was majority leader. And so he went from majority leader to uh, campaign for uh, with Kennedy for president, vice president. And then when Kennedy was assassinated, he took over the presidency and uh, and really worked uh, very hard. Uh, and so his, his heart damage really, uh, once you have it and the medical profession can deal with it, they, they, you now are in mm -hmm. a fortunate situation. It's the people that don't realize and have a massive heart attack. I didn't have a heart attack, but when they, when I just had shortness of breath, and then when they finally addressed it, they told me that uh, I was on the verge of having a major heart attack. They caught it. Uh, now uh, I have no limitations from the heart point of view. I have limitations from neuropathy, 
but uh, so I think that Bernie, this will stand him in good stead, and he, in my mind, he'd be qualified to, to win the presidency and to go forward in mm. a four-year, uh, or more likely a four-year administration. Well, it's glad, we're glad to hear that you're doing well and uh, glad to hear your analysis on that as well. Senator, I do want to ask you, and there's a lot of debate right now in the progressive left between Senator Elizabeth Warren, support for Senator Elizabeth Warren and Senator Bernie Sanders. As a Sanders supporter, why do you support her, her him over Elizabeth Warren? Well, first off, Elizabeth Warren uh, in the 16 uh, supported Hillary Clinton, which was really damaged goods. And of course, Bernie was running and he was being cheated out of the nomination by the Democratic leadership. And so Sanders uh, supported uh, Hillary. Uh, and later on, uh, she was embarrassed by this. And people have asked, well, why did you support Bernie rather than Sanders, which you're supposed to be closer to ideologically? Well, she said, I want an influence. Well, that's a tip off. Uh, that you're, you're more interested in power than you're interested in, uh, uh, in, uh, in the issues that you're advancing. So now I don't hold that entirely against you, but it is a tip off to a person's thinking. Uh, I've looked at uh, Bernie and uh, tried to judge where he stands on issues. And my God, it's just awesome what he uh, would try to do. And and we need to do that. We, do, we don't need to do a Joe Biden compromise before you even engage in a discussion. Uh, you need to lay down the gauntlet of what we want to accomplish and go ahead and work towards it. May not succeed in all of them, but we certainly would succeed in a great deal. Now, what, uh, what with, with respect to Warren, uh, I think she's got some excellent, excellent positions. Uh, however, I detect a, a sense, and I think that the mainstream media is looking at it from that point of view, and that is that I think that she would be prepared to compromise once in power. Mm -hmm. uh, with respect to her foreign policy, I don't think uh, that it's nearly as strong as Tulsi Gabbard. And the same thing with Bernie. I think uh, foreign policy, Tulsi, would, uh, is, is better than Bernie in that regard. Yep. The others aren't even in the race. Uh, so final question no for mistake. you, Senator. A final question for you, Senator. Who do you think needs to drop out of the race? Well, I think everybody but uh, Elizabeth Warren, Bernie, and Tulsi. That's who. <laughs> there's, there's just a lot of empty shirts. Uh -huh. uh, Buttigieg is, is, a, is an example of the empty shirt. And, of course, that's the reason why mainstream media... Uh, likes him uh, because he's not threatening, uh, and and if you're going to make some changes, you're going to make some. You're, you're going to be threatened. Now here too with Warren, uh, she she her issues are threatening to elements of our economy, uh, but they don't react that that way, which is a tip off over that uh, she would re, uh, recourse to reasonableness where she would be elected. Mm -hmm. Now. This doesn't make make her a bad person. Just that this are just my observations, uh, and 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 I and like I say, I have a bias uh, for Tulsi, uh, even before the race began. Uh, I've seen her talk a couple times, and I think that uh, she's just awesome. She she's got an uh, an plum or a charisma uh, that's that's very very strong. And then I, I like her position on ending wars mm -hmm. uh, and to re, uh, regime change. Uh, and of course, that's that's not the strength of the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party is just as much a war party as the uh, Republicans, and sometimes more so. And that's why I'd like to see somebody like Tulsi. And Bernie is, is strong on that. But Tulsi, with her experience on Foreign Relations Committee and right. also the uh, the uh, Armed Services Committee and her direct involvement in serving two tours, two tours in uh, in uh, in Iraq, really says a great deal about where her head is. It's, yep. it's the, and of course she's supported by a lot of veterans because veterans understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining us, Senator. We really appreciate your insight, and we're going to have you back. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, sir.
We'll have more rising for you after this.